So we've got this fraction written here, 2 thirds. What I want you to do is pause this video and try to think of any other fractions that are the same, that are equivalent to this fraction right over here, that essentially represent the same number. So to do that, let's, let's visualize what 2 thirds is. So let me draw a hole here. Let me draw a hole, and I'm going to divide it into three equal sections. So that is my hole. I'll draw three equal sections. I'm going to try to draw and make them as equal as I, I can do a little better job than that. So that's one, two, three, three equal sections. And so two thirds would represent two out of those three equal sections. So actually, I can spray paint this. So that's one third right over here, and then this is. 2 thirds, so we have two of the three equal sections. So that is 2 thirds. And now let me copy and paste that so we can think about other ways to represent this fraction. So copy, and then let me paste it. I'll do it once, and then I'll do it another time. And I could do this multiple times, but I'll do it two other times right over here. So there's a couple of things we could do. The first option is we could take this and we could, divide, we could draw a horizontal line that, draws, that divides each of these three sections into two sections. So let's do that, into two sections. So now, how many equal sections do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal sections. Six equal sections. And how many of those equal sections are actually shaded in now? Well, we see it's one, two, three, four. Four, six, so notice. 4 6 is the exact same fraction of the whole as 2 thirds. These are equivalent fractions. We could say that 2 thirds is equal to 4 6. Now we could do something very similar. Instead of dividing each of those, each of these thirds into 2, we could divide each of these thirds into 3. So I could draw three horizontal lines here. So let's see, 1, 2, 3. So now I have divided what was in three equal sections. I now have three, many, three times as many sections. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine equal sections. And then which of those are actually shaded in? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So two thirds, which is equal to four, six, is also equal to six ninths. These are all, all three of these, are equivalent fractions, 2 thirds, 4 six, and 6 ninths. And if you were to put them on the number line, the same thing would happen. So let's do that. Let's draw a number line here. Let's say that's 0. And I'm just going to focus on between 0 and 1. And obviously, we can go beyond that. Go beyond that. And let's divide it first into thirds. So this is 1 third and 2 thirds. So we already know this is. This would represent 1 third, and this is 2 thirds. It's, we've gone two of the equal spaces of, of the three on the way to one. We've divided the section between 0 and 1 into three equal spaces. Now what would 4 sixths be? Well, now we would just have to divide this into six equal spaces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 4 sixths, that would be four out of the six spaces on the way to one. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this number is also equal to 4 6. And you could do the same thing if you wanted to think about ninths. So instead of, instead of dividing each of, so what we could do, we could put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now I've split this part of our number line between 0 and 1 into 9 equal spaces. Well, what would 6 ninths be? Well, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once again, the exact same point on the number line. It's an equivalent fraction. 6 ninths is equal to 2 thirds is equal to 4 sixths.